Jacqueline, and yesterday you did friendship bracelets, yes. and today you're going to do flip-flops, right? Yes. Okay, and as far as you can tell, I'm between third grade and eighth grade, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to do a duct tape flip-flop. And right now I'm putting a little duck, as you can see, on the edge. A duck. Yeah. On your edge on of my your... flip flop, just as a okay. as a decoration. Okay. So what is but the first thing I'm going to do with my duct tape? To get started, well, I what I did here is I traced my foot, and we're not doing that with my foot. My foot no. is way too big for this. So we're just going to use this sample of okay. my foot. So I've got one done, and all you do is you start taking your duct tape and wrapping it around. Now so there are there are proms I have heard in certain schools where they make the entire prom wardrobe out of duct tape. Are you able to do that? Um, I have not, but we have uh, one of my coworkers, her daughter, made a fancy prom duct tape dress. Would you like me to bring it over? Oh, man. This is such a cool dress, and as soon as I get done making my shoes, I'm going to have an entire duct tape outfit. outfit. Right. An You'll ensemble. Yes. So where are we now? Well, we've almost finished covering it up, and uh, sometimes I might put a few extra layers on for a little bit of padding. So what I'm doing now is I'm making my strap. I tore off a piece of duct tape that's a little bit longer than the sandal, and I'm folding it in thirds. You can make your straps as thick or as thin as you want, but I want to make sure it matches the first sandal I made. And I'm going to tape one end to the bottom of the sandal. And after I do that, I'll actually put it on my foot to make sure the strap is at the right length. And I'm wrapping it around so that it will be a snug fit. And once I've done that, I can tape the other side to make the strap. So I've adjusted my straps. Doesn't that look lovely, like patent leather? It does. I think so.